Hi Cardinals! Today we're going to continue to work with our team numbers up to 20 as we work with our learning target that says I can build a wreck and rack to 20. In class we've used our wreck and rack before. Look at this picture right here. There's one that hangs on our board at the very top. It has our red beads and our white beads and we do our wreck and wreck counting the say 10 way and the wreck and wreck roller coaster counting. So today we're going to start off before we get into doing our wreck and wreck. We're going to count cubes. Then we're going to write our teen numbers to match how many cubes we have. Let's look at our first set of cubes. How many green cubes do you see? Let's start at the top and count down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We have ten green cubes. Now how many green cubes do you see? Three. If I put my green cubes together, I have ten and three. Remember, we played hide the zero. The three comes up and hides the zero part of ten. So when I write it, I get one, three. But this one does not mean one. Remember, the one means ten. The three is just hiding the zero. Let's look at our next set of cubes. How many cubes do we see? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten cubes and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten cubes and nine cubes. How many cubes do we have? Can you tell me the say 10 way? 10, 9. Tell me the teenage number way. 19. Put your fingers in the air and help me write a 19. 1, 9. But the 1 does not mean a 1. The one means 10. Great job. Let's look at another set of cubes. How many pink cubes are there? That's right, there are 10 pink cubes. Now how many cubes are there? Seven. We have ten, seven. What is that? The regular number way. Seventeen. Put your elbow up and write seventeen. One, seven. Does the one mean one? No way, Miss McKay. The one means ten. Great job. Great job, Cardinals. Now we're going to count the say 10 way. I want you to remember our wreck and wreck. With our wreck and wreck, how many red beads do we have? Five. How many black beads do we have? Five. Usually in class, these black beads are white but they're black to help them show up here. So if I have five red beads and five black beads, how many do I have all together? 10. Do I need to recount this group of 10? No, I know it's 10. I'm going to say the 10 
and as I move one bead, I'm going to count the say 10 way to add the leftovers on the bottom. So I could say 10, one, 10, two, count with me please. 10, three, 10, four, 10, five, 10, six, 10, seven, 10, eight, 10, nine, two tens. And I should see two groups of 10. How many beads do we have the say 10 way? Two tens. Great job. Now let's count our beads the regular way, saying those teenage numbers. Do I need to recount this group of 10? No, we know it's 10. So think, what's one more than 10? 11. Ready? Count with me. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. How many beads do we have all together the regular counting way? We have 20 beads or two groups of 10. Great job. Let's look at our story problem for the day. Remember, we read our story problems as we try to solve our problems and come up with a solution. Let's listen to our story. Miss Garcia is painting her fingernails. She has painted all the nails on her left hand except her thumb. Oh, that's important to know. If she's painted all of the nails on her left hand except her thumb, this is her left hand right here. How many more nails does she have left to paint. How many will she have left to paint after she paints her left thumb? Let's look at our picture to help. Miss Garcia has painted one, two, three, four nails. How many more nails does she need to paint on her left hand? One more. Great job. How many does she have left to paint on her right hand? Five. She has one and five left to paint. How many nails does she have to paint all together? Six. Great job, Cardinals. Now let's continue to think about Miss Garcia's fingernails. If Miss Garcia painted all of the nails on her left hand except her thumb, how many fingernails did she paint? Four. Let's paint those fingernails for her. One, two, three, four. How many does she have left on this hand? One more. Let's paint that fingernail for her. Listen, four, one more is five. She has five fingernails that are painted and five fingernails that are not painted. Five, one more. How many does she need to paint now? Paint one more. Now she has six. C, 
six. One more is seven. Seven. One more is eight. Eight. One more is nine. Nine. One more is ten. I see Miss Garcia has painted all ten of her fingernails. I circled my hands because that's a group of ten. Let's help Miss Garcia's friend paint her nails. Ready? One. One more is two. Two. One more is three. Three. One more is four. Four. One more is five. Let's keep painting the nails on the next hand. Five. One more is six. Six. One more is seven. Seven. One more is eight. Eight. One more is nine. Nine. One more is ten. We have another group of ten. What do we need to do? Circle it. We always circle our groups of ten. Let's look at our two sets of fingernails. How many fingernails are painted here? Ten. How many fingernails are painted here? Ten. Let's say how many fingernails are painted the same ten way. We have two groups of ten, so we say two tens. Can you tell me the regular number way? How many fingernails do we have painted? Yes, twenty. Two tens makes twenty. Now let's look at our reckon math. I see a teenage number here. We will color our 10 beads on top and our leftovers or extra ones on the bottom to show the whole amount. This is the number 15. If I'm going to create 15 on my rack and rack, I fill in my whole top row of 10. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. How many should be filled in on the bottom? Five. Great job. Ready? One, two, three, four, five. I can say this the say ten way, ten, five, or the teenage number way, fifteen. Ten, one, ten, two. Ten, three, ten, four, ten, five, or I can say ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Does this one mean one? No way, Miss McKay. This one means ten. The five shows the extra ones that are left over. Let's look at our next teenage number. What is this number? Eighteen. How many do I fill in on my rack and rack for the top row? Ten. Because my one does not mean one. 
My one means 10. When my whole top row is filled, that means that I will have 10. Do I have to recount that group of 10? No, I know it's 10. Let's count the say 10 way as we count up to 18. 10, 1, 10, 2, 10, 3, 10, 4, 10, 5, 10, 6, 10, 7, 10, 8. How many do I have all together? 10, 8. What is this the regular number way? 18. Let's start at 10 and count the regular number way. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Great job. Does this one mean one? No way, Miss McKay. That one means 10. Look at our next teenage number. What is this amount? 11. How many should be filled in in the top row for 11? Yes, we should color in 11 of our dots. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. How many should be colored in on the bottom row? One more. Let's count this the say ten way. Ten, one. Let's count this the regular number way. Ten, eleven. Great job, Cardinals. Look at our next teenage number. What is this number the regular number way? 16. How many should we fill in in the top for 16? 10. Return sweep. How many are left over? Six. How many do we fill in on the bottom? Six. We say 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Great job, Cardinals. Look at the last two. What is this teenage number? 13. Let's fill in the rack and rack for 13. Let's do this the say 10 way. Ready? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10, 1, 10, 2. 10, 3. How many are filled in the say 10 way? 10, 3. How many are filled in the teenage number way? 13. Look at our last problem. Uh-oh. I don't see a 10 right here. I see a 2. What is this number? 20. Can you explain to your parents why there is a 2 in this number instead of a 1? Great job. 
there is a two in the number 20 because there are two groups of 10. How can I fill in my rack and rack to show 20 or two tens? Oh, kiss your brain. You are so smart. Yes, I fill in both groups of 10. So when I finish my first row of 10, I have 10, 1, 10, 2, 10, 3, 10, 4, 10, 5, 10, 6, 10, 7, 10, 8, 10, 9, 2, 10. Let's go back and count this the regular number way. Ready? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Two tens means 20. Great job today, Cardinals. I hope that you were able to count the say 10 way and the teenage number way when we were building our wreck and wreck today. Now, some interesting and fun things you can do at home today while you are working with your teenage numbers. I understand that you most likely don't have a wreck and wreck at home, and that is okay. Maybe you can find some things around the house that will help you to count numbers to 20. Count them the say 10 way and the regular number way. Or maybe you have a piece of paper and your crayons and you can draw or color to show 20 objects. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Maybe you can find stickers and you can put stickers on the page and write the correct teenage number that goes with the amount of stickers you put on the page. Be creative and have fun creating amounts and writing numbers up to 20. Great job, Cardinals. Kiss your brains. I am so proud of you. I'll see you tomorrow for more work with our teenage numbers.